read that again. If the shop closed down and was demolished, I'm pretty sure the door wouldn't survive. Really? Interesting. But if it's demolished, then y'all stuck. The lock. Yeah, you flipped it from closed to open. The plate. I assume it's the one that reads open and closed. Right, I see it. But is that the lock? Huh? Refers to the. Oh, gate lock. Refers to the sign plate on the Enchante gate. Turning it over locks and unlocks it. Pretty simple. But how would you, like, how would she figure the pro tag? How would she figure, like, oh, let me flip over this plate. And, um, you know, it's just a weird door. Why would I flip open a plate? Flip over a plate. It's Closed door, the door will not open. Fair enough. For us, it's just a weird door. If we open it, we can open it. We can open it. We can open it. We can open it. Okay. So if it's closed, they can't go back now. But, sometimes, there are good things that come out. So, in general, we should be able to get rid of it. Oh. So yeah, don't just have it open all the time. You gotta flip it on, flip it off when you need to. What unpleasant things. Oh shit. That's too dangerous! Grandpa, how could you open this shop without batting an eye at that kind of danger? ちなみに店舗を潰したら異世界の扉がどうなっちゃうのか心配になるかもしれないけど。そこは心配いらないよ。もしもゲートは破壊できないからね。Interesting. Wow. Okay, so that erases any doubt that you know they can't come and go as they please granted the sign is open oh my casting spells are we in other words, it seems the shop eluded demolition due to this mysterious power. Okay. I see. That's astounding. Oh, that was an exclamation, but whatever. It does seem rather convenient. See, Katone, I, 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 we kind of, we kind of jelling. That's exactly what I said. It's convenient. Oh, no shit. Like, when I open the door and an earthquake happens, that sure isn't, um, science. But if that's really the case, the shop could never disappear. Isn't that right? Right. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
A silence once again drapes over the cafe as those words were uttered. While I was still searching up for what to say, Mizier suddenly stands up from his seat. Wait, but where are you going? Oh. Oh my. 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 Oh Come to think of it, Il did clearly mention that he was living in the shop. It's true I had yet to see the second floor of Anchante. I would really have never imagined that these non-human guests would be staying up there. Oh, wait, Um, I, I'm not sure. I haven't been upstairs yet. I don't know if the housing authority or city officials had come to see the property. Have come to see the property. So, so uh, did, did I mess with your collection or something? Il abruptly stands up. Quick, fly up there! With that, Il rushes up the stairs in a huff. <laughs> that was joking, but okay. I think he might have flown up, flown a bit even. <laughs> oh, whoops! What in the world? <laughs> というか、ここの結界は、ゆかりのない人よけも兼ねてるし。まあ、心配ないとは思うけどね。じゃ、俺も部屋行ってくるわ。ガネス、お前もアイビアだし、来るだろう。ああ。とはいえ、我々は物が
Canis, Ill, and Ignis. They all claim that they aren't human. All of this easily erasing whatever knowledge of the world I used to hold. <sighs> what the heck? Ooh, girl, you crunchy. Damn, that scared me. <laughs> Don't worry, I can relate. I'm stiff as hell, too. Urk. Ow! I know it was cliche, but I pinched my cheek to make sure I still feel it. That's pinching your cheek? Girl, you must got some really defined cheekbones to be making that noise. I did. So that meant this is all real. I pinched my elbow and my hand, but of course, the result is the same. Sitting there, I take a breath deeper than the deepest ocean. <laughs> It seems like every guest Grandpa rented developed a meaningful and uh, meaningful friendship with him. ま、正直は、ね。けどそこが居心地のいい場所かどうか。それはまた別の問題でしょ。俺たちが望んでいる場所はこの店のアンシャンテのマスターが Holding this irritable feeling. Ah. I let out a groan. It was a sound no one would expect to come from someone like me. Oh, stomach shut up. I hope it's, I hope the mic's not picking it up, y'all. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, what do I do? The sunset. It's so pretty. That it is. It is a beautiful picture of the sunset. Yes. But I can only escape my reality for so long. As if to try and find an answer, I open the letter from Grandpa once again. Kotone.本当はこう、SNS的ななんかでメッセージを残そうと思ったんだが、それじゃ遺言として認められないらしい。だから、仕方なく手紙に書いとく。スタンプとか使える方が便利なのにな。Okay, granddad with the times, he's not technologically stunted. I stand. <laughs> Honestly, he would he always loved breaking the mold. A bittersweet feeling draws a smile. I bite my lip as I read over the letter again. An official will was delivered to my parents. So this basically so this is basically just a personal message from grandfather to granddaughter. Most of the content was just random chatter. Questions about me eating properly, making sure I was being nice to my parents, and if I was doing okay at the company where I got my job, things like that. When grandpa would come to the house every so often, we had so much fun talking. He was sensitive to how I felt. He never did try to pry too much into my daily life. I guess this letter, it helped him work through it all, that concern he must have had for me. Hmm. I'm sorry, Grandpa. Hmm. Ooh, what is this music? It's difficult to talk about out loud. But the flute, the flute, <laughs> shit. But the flute supply company where I was hired was infamous for being strict about work, the work. That, 
That became apparent right away once I started my job there. It's a typical cubicle, 9 to 5, I'm guessing. The sales department would go door to door selling health products and supplements that were basically scams. Ooh, girl, you was a part of a uh, flat tummy tea, Nutriburst, Iaso tea, or Lasso tea. I don't know what the heck it's called. Herbalife. <laughs> As an office worker, I dealt with all the complaints that came from customers each day and night. They brought me right out of high school even though I barely made the cut, so I forced myself to endure the labor. But after so many days of working there, the ringing of a phone would trigger me. I could still hear my boss yelling, Rah! That kind of killed my voice, by the way. You can always be replaced. Just do as I say. You have nowhere else to go, do you? No one needs you. I picked you up, so you better be grateful. Jeez Louise. Woo! Nice boss. 10 out of 10. I was tired, bitter, and I just, and just wanted to quit. It was at that time when I got Grandpa's letter, which I'm looking at right now. I will say this. How convenient. You're at a job that you hate um, so much. And then your grandpa, you know, as he passes on, he, he has your living, your work, everything set out for you. That's very convenient, I must admit. それがお前の居場所になるならそれでいいお前の人生だお前が自分で決めていいんだお前の人生だお前が自分で決めていいんだお前の人生だお前が自分で決めていいんだお前の人生だお前が自分で決めていいんだお前の人生だお前が自分で
damn she's sharp asking the questions that matter. Ah, <sighs> I know these fools did not put a dictionary entry for the word chi. Lord. Chi. A favorite word of Mizir. It often means something so strong it seems doubtful. He wraps up the strange thing he's. Da -da -da. He wraps up the strange things he's performed with this world, be probably because explaining it is a pain to him. He's a demon king, after all. While he can easily do most things, such as acts of destruction, there are a few things that he is not very good at. Oh boy, I can't wait to find out what that is. And the other one. Perception obstruction. Oof. Magic used by Mizir on himself. Since he would be seen as suspicious when he goes outside. Apparently surrounding people only so that apparently surrounding people only see him as wearing normal clothes. Okay. Boo, I want to see him wearing normal clothes. That's bullshit. He stretched calmly saying that scary fact. I wondered how detached from humanity he was. I mean, just look at his clothes. His face. The way he talks. The way he laughs. Maybe he doesn't look that different yet. It's cool. Oh no, it's fine. Actually, in all honesty, it was helpful that he came to chat. I couldn't help but feel like thinking about this on my own would just get me down. Hmm. That's all. As he pointed to the letter, I realized I forgot to put it away. Oh, er, yes, it is. I was holding it to my chest out of reflex, probably because it was taking me through all those memories and emotions just now. Responding ambivalently, he stares at the letter for a moment, then speaks. So on, is that? <laughs> what is this face? Oh my god. Especially up close. Sweetheart, don't ever make that face again. <laughs> His sudden comment caught me. Caught me. It caught me off guard. Huh? I, I never do. Grandpa always seems so sprightly. The <laughs> キャラじゃないよね。その他にも実はゴキブリがダメとかさ。Really? Well, I can't deal with cockroaches either. Either. Mizir continued on, speaking kindly of the grandfather I didn't know. But he can't handle hot peppers, y'all. Boo! Wimp! Though I'm sure it was a tiny bit of things he wanted to say. I can tell these memories were very precious to him. So, Pouring coffee? Is there an art to pouring coffee? I know there's an art to brewing it, and there's intricacies of on, like, you know, the right temp, uh, brewing method, uh, you know, what kind of beans to use, and, like, you know, it, to pair it with the dessert. Uh, I didn't realize there was a... I know there's a latte pouring art which I kind of want to get into I kind of want to try latte art but enough of that let's continue yeah it was only when he poured coffee 
though only might be a bit mean. That he was so intentional and serious. Mizir nods in agreement with my comment. They all went to a bar. この店にいる限りはただの客。ん、コーヒーを頼んでおやつをつまんでただただそんな時間を楽しむ場所。そういう場所なんだよ、ここは。だからこそ俺たちはこの店が安心店が好きなんだ。I can respect that. Hmm. You're not gonna ask me, are you? To take over the cafe. Huh? Ma, so Laughing a bit to himself, he stood up, looking satisfied somehow. Cause he knows I'm gonna take over the damn shop. But you know what, y'all? If there's a like a decision branch, y'all know I'ma pick it just as I'ma pick the other option just to spite. <laughs> After I nod in response, he pauses for a moment, then speaks again. Uh, what? Tomorrow? I don't have anything planned. As for work... Oops, sorry if I hit the mic, y'all. He's like, I want out! <sighs> oh, er, uh, right. Yeah, I don't have anything planned. Okay. To Enchante? もちろん君さえ嫌じゃなければだけどせっかく時間があるならいろいろ話してみたくてさ店を継ぐ継がないは別として俺は君のことを知りたいし君に俺のことを知ってほしいうわけでどうやってどうやってどうやってどうやってど
あの太陽を砕いてみせて」とか「この星を跡形もなく滅ぼして」とか「You sound so happy basically make the earth explode」君じきじきのお願いならそのぐらいのことはしてあげるよ。Okay, <笑> I'll take your word for it. Is that romantic? His smile scares me, as if to say that, would actually go, that he would actually go through with that. <笑>まあ、その件も含めてさ、明日のご来店お待ちしております。<笑> He's got such a charming air about him. And I like his like bubbly speech voice. I'll think about it. I'll consider whether or not I'll return. Even if I were to start heading back now, I'd be home around midnight. Damn, girl, I'm already with. Did you literally walk all that way? You can't catch an Uber? Considering how dangerous that might be, maybe it's best I stay here tonight. But I'm a bit reluctant to stay at Enchante with all these people I don't even know. True. For now, I let Mizir know I'll be leaving to get a hotel for the night. Hmm, I understand. Will everything be okay with. The lock. I l o o k at the lock. I look 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 at the lock. Yeah, I'll come tomorrow. So you just automatically want to see what this is all about. And you, you at first, you were contesting、uh, showing up.、Mm. Oh, okay, or that. I haven't said see you tomorrow to anyone in such a long time. It was really nothing. Or word orders, Sasha, get it together. It really was nothing. Outside of work, I didn't seem to live the same way other people did. Mizir didn't make me feel weird, and he replied shyly. <laughs> he smiled with an endless kindness. It was then I realized that I was no longer just considering coming by tomorrow. Yeah, you just blurted out that you would. Once I got to the hotel, the promise I made to see m e s i e r became rather clear. Ooh, look at all those stars! The hotel I was able to find was very nice considering how little it cost. Girl, is it like a morgue type deal? One of those micro hotels in Japan where it's basically like.、Um, A file cabinet sort of deal where you open it up, you jump in, and then you jump right back out. <laughs> oh, never mind. That shut me up. After taking a shower and changing, I lie down on the bed in the room. I'm so tired. It's definitely due to the mental stress. It's time I get to sleep. I let out a yawn as I reach out. To the light by the pillow. No matter how many times I think about it, I just really experienced something ex- insane. I'm about to say insane. <laughs> Though I no longer thought it was a dream. <laughs> Still feeling a small morsel of excitement towards visiting Enchante tomorrow. <laughs> I close my eyes and give in to sleep. I hear a voice. It sounds like a child. Someone crying. 
Ooh, guys. Nice. Solitude is lonely. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. Huh? My mind was blank and I had no idea where I was or when this was. I've been waiting for you. A person appeared without a sound and stretched out their hand. That's not fair. Bitch. Their trembling fingers sank into my chest. They literally sank in. They plunged in. Like a hand submerging into water. Ugh. My heart felt like an alarm going off. My body shook in pain. Unable to breathe, I could feel my consciousness slipping. What the hell? But there was something more harrowing. Help me. It clung on to me. This unknown plea rang into my head. Rang in my head, excuse me. It was so pitiful. So sad. I tried baiting it. Uh, I tried batting away the hand, but I just couldn't, no matter how hard I tried. The fuck? Ugh. I woke up to the sound of my heavy heartbeat. It took me a moment to realize the space around me was just the hotel room that I had booked for the evening. <sighs> I don't remember everything well, but that definitely felt like a nightmare. In an attempt to dig up the memories from it, I grabbed the slides of. Uh, <laughs> I grabbed the sides of my head. Hmm? Just then, the alarm goes off. I look at the time on the clock. <gasps> it's already this late? I have to hurry or I'll miss checkout. Girl, you better get your ass to that freaking concierge. I fling myself up from the bed and start to get ready for the day. Ooh. I rush through the checking... The I rush through checking out of my room and leave the hotel quickly. My feet were moving on their own, making the way downtown, walking fast towards Enchante. <laughs> Though I inadvertently made me easier, I promise. I actually began to feel a little excitement to go back there again. Girl. I didn't have a solid conservation with each guest yesterday. I need to do that today. Wait, did I say con- Conservation. Oh my god, y'all. I'm so sorry. Conversation. A conversation about things that necessarily don't have to do with Enchante. Damn, she's stupid. I was hoping for a fresh start today, especially after my terrible dream. And I was walking along when all of a sudden... Hmm? I heard a clack. It was from... A little up ahead, something appeared. It bounced once, twice, and was rolling toward me from the street. Curious about what it was, I bent down to pick it up off the ground. A pen? It didn't seem like a regular pen from a department store. Beneath the navy surface of it were a set of initials engraved in a brilliant gold. This must have been custom made. Uh. ごめんね、お嬢さん。それ僕のなんだ。拾ってくれてありがとう。Oh, last guy. I took the, or I looked toward the person whose initials must be from the ones I found on this pen. Hi.こっちこっち。鍵差したままでさ。よかったら持ってきてくれるかい。Huh? Oh, sure. The man was wearing a casual suit as he looked in my direction. I walked toward him, brushing off some of the dirt that had gotten on the bed. I hand it over to uh, I hand it over as he gives me a smile. Yeah, arigato. Memo took the Hyoshi ni otos chatte. Shadow no honi tobida san te yokatte. Bruh, I honestly think you just threw the pen over there. 
How far did she walk to give it back to him? Cause, uh, he could have been near the street. Or like, you know, off on the shoulder of the street. Whatever. Weirdo. No problem. It's a beautiful pen. I hope it didn't get scuffed. I was about to say goodbye when... Sure, random stranger. What is it? I'm not from around here and I don't know the streets very well. Ah, <laughs> Put you in your place. What? <laughs> oh, you know, I have this cafe, Cafe Enchante, boom, title drop, end game. You ain't slick. Like one of the weirdest date pickup attempts I've ever seen. What do I do? Is this about to be one of those instances of coercion I'm always hearing about? I would be surprised. I need to find a way to get out of this. I'm sorry, I appreciate the offer, but I have a few things I need to take care of. Yeah, so it was on that. <laughs> 